Hi guys, I'm Alice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I went to the supermarket because tomorrow is legal quarantine in Turkey. It's every weekend it's quarantine uh, because people want to go to, you know, outside to go to beaches and stuff. So still uh, we're in the pandemic, so it's not a good idea. So there are some things missing in my fridge, so I went to the supermarket. I couldn't shoot anything because supermarkets were like insane, okay? There's a really bad lines and people... It's really crowded inside, even though there are some rules. I think it's still a bit crowded because you cannot even walk. There's some people around you. I mean, who knows? Anyway, so this video will be uh, something what I bought for myself while I'm staying in quarantine and also what you can find in a Turkish supermarket kind of video so I hope you guys enjoy it so let's move on so let's begin with the breads um, in a supermarket you can find bakery breads and some of them because some of them has their own little small bakeries inside but the others have <laughs> stop uh, have like you know prepackaged uh, breads like mm, like in every country so let me show you this is a, a prepackaged one, but it's a special one. Um, it's from it's it's from a bakery, but they prepackage it and sell it to the supermarket. So it, this is a half of a bread, as you can see. It's a special one, but it's not focusing. Yeah. Okay. So this is a half of it. I don't remember the price, but I think this was like six Turkish liras or something six and a half I'm not sure but it kind of like that it's a bit expensive I recommend you to go to a bakery if there is one near your house so the second type is these as you can see like prepackaged sliced breads here in Turkey we have got Uno which is a which is a really popular brand um, you can find Uno in every nearly every supermarket because they're selling it everywhere and I bought two of them because I need bread okay so the next thing uh, is rice um, you know rice is really popular food in Turkey but it's just really really different than <laughs> the one that from Japan because uh, Japanese people boil it we don't boil it we first um, cook it with uh, butter and then we put some uh, water in it and sometimes like um, meat, what is that called, like bouillons, I don't know, um, and then cook it like that. So also we put some noodle in it, but it's a really different kind, so I'm going to be showing you the rice first. So this is a Turkish um, rice, so as you can see this kind, it says baldo, to make rice, only like a rice food, <laughs> I mean, this is for that one, so I bought one kilogram and what we put inside of the rice is this as you can see this is called like noodles but we call it a in here so first you cooked a bit of it and then put some rice and cook a bit and then put water in it together so it will be mixed and uh, like two colors like brown and white together so it's a different style but it's a Turkish style of rice so I bought this one also next peppers I bought peppers generally in Turkey you buy peppers and nearly every vegetable by kilos but these days like uh, they prepackage them because they don't want people to grab every single one of it in case there is a virus so um, this is I think it's a one kilogram or something it's huge and these are like hot peppers so yeah I love to, uh, I love to use them in breakfast and dinner so yeah I bought 10 of them and cucumbers uh, it's too much I know because it's prepackaged but normally it's not uh, I have to tell you again but in Turkey you buy every vegetable or fruits by kilos you can find prepackaged ones but it's normally like the organic section kind of thing so it's more expensive so I don't recommend it to you, for you to buy it but these days like you can only find prepackaged ones let's talk about the meat that I got I got 
salamis, they're like pre-packaged pre salamis. You can buy like sliced salamis in nearly every supermarket. I mean the bigger ones, not the smaller ones. But this is a pre-packaged one. As you can see, it looks like this. This is called like Namit. This is a popular brand. It has salamis and uh, sujuk. This is a, this is a sujuk. Like, it looks like a pepperoni, but not. Um, looks like this. We eat it in a breakfast usually, or if you're doing a barbecue, we cut it and put it in the bread, and it's so delicious, so nice. And this is also hot version of it. So as you can tell, I love peppers. I bought hot pepper flakes. This is hot pepper flakes. I normally ignore buying these kind of prepackaged ones because they're tasteless, okay, but I don't have any choice. I couldn't find any of us, so I bought this one. Next thing is crystal sugar. Why I bought crystal sugar is because now uh, there are strawberries are everywhere. I, have, I bought strawberries, so I'm gonna be eating with crystal sugar, as you can see. The package looks like this. As you can see, maybe you know this brand, maybe it's in your country, Dr. Oetker. We have got things like um, puddings and stuff from this brand. So the next essential of Turkish culture is yogurt. This is a huge, huge box of yogurt. You can see, this is a really popular brand and it's so good. You can find Iran also with this brand uh, but this one this yogurt you have to mix it with water uh, because it's kind of dry you have to make it a bit like loose um, and I bought it like that because it goes more than the other one so yeah next from the frozen section <laughs> sorry about that I bought chickpeas chickpeas from the frozen section. This is also a really popular brand. It's called Super Fresh. You can find nearly everything like normal peas and other things from that brand. Also they have got like pizzas, uh, meatballs and everything. You name it, they have it. So this is a pack of tomato sauce. This is kind of like a puree kind of thing. It looks like this. I use it to cook like this or like normal peas and you know it's always this is like a really essential thing for cooking uh, Turkish cuisine let's say because this, we use onions um, butter and tomato sauce nearly in everything so the next thing about it you don't know maybe but Turkish tea is really 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 good and popular um, now I'm gonna be showing you the tea as you can see this is a huge pack of tea uh, you can uh, buy like like tea bag kind of things but we don't normally use tea bags in Turkey it's tasteless we normally buy the tea leaves and then put it in the water and yeah so this brand is a uh, is a really really big company in Turkey and they have got like thousands of different kinds of teas and also if you don't know fun fact teas are coming from the Black Sea region because nearly all Black Sea region uh, have you know tea plants and people work there and nearly all the tea uh, around Turkey comes from the Black Sea region so yeah why I am choosing this I tried lots of teas this one is like tastes like my childhood let's say that's why I'm buying it but you should try every single one of them and pick whatever you like so now let's talk about the drinks so the first thing I bought is coca-cola let me be honest with you I normally don't drink that much coca-cola I don't know why but when it's in quarantine and if it's not in the house I go insane I really wanted to have a coca-cola so I bought one bottle uh, it's not good for your health, okay? I have to be honest with you, cola is not good for your health, but... So the next spot is obviously the alcohol section because I bought to myself some beer and wine. So first, I'm gonna be showing you the beer that we have here. Look, this is a Turkish brand called Bomonte beer. I like this one, I also like the Bud, the American Bud. Uh, also, we have got FS if you have 
if you have never heard it it's a really really old and popular brand in Turkey but this is also really popular I bought a bottle of this so how much does a Turkish beer cost this one costs about like 30, 13 Turkish liras now um, it's a bit expensive because uh, I mean maybe for dollars it's like maybe uh, now how much uh, two dollars or something I know it looks funny but dollar raised so bad so um, like I mean 13 Turkish liras is something like like ten dollars to if you want to compare like so it's expensive to buy it but like so the next thing is wine if you don't know Turkey have lots of um, wine yards ton of them and there are lots of brands that make wine so if you want to try Turkish wine there are a lot of kinds this is as you can see I'm gonna be showing you this brand is also popular this is their like cheapest wine uh, but it tastes really nice uh, it's Turkish um, it's made from the Turkish grapes um, so yeah this is like 31 Turkish liras so it's the cheapest one because normally the, the cheapest wine you can ever get is like 30 Turkish liras so if you want a foreigner brand it goes up to 100 and 150 Turkish liras or something so it's expensive but if you like uh, wine you can definitely find a ton of different kinds of Turkish wines and it's not that much expensive I mean we have got expensive stuff but you can find also cheaper ones and it doesn't make an edic so it's fine I love it so much I bought it like two bottles of this because I like to stock my wine I love my wine <laughs> anyway that's what I got today hope you enjoyed it I just don't want to be showing you like that this one is that much that one is that much because it depends when dollar goes up it doesn't mean much if I say like this is one Turkish service this is two Turkish service then you'll all be thinking like oh it's so cheap it's so cheap no because uh, minimum wage here is 2500 Turkish lira so you know it's not too much so yeah it's a bit expensive but I think in now uh, in every country people are dealing with uh, this because they don't have any job because of the pandemic and people have to stay home but they need money and it's just an awful time so I'm trying my best to save and uh, try to buy essentials I don't I don't want to buy lots of things I mean I already bought lots of things like two a month ago or so so I don't need to buy everything again and again and again so this is like my small shopping let's say and I have to be honest with you Turkish supermarkets are so crowded now because I don't know why but people think that they cannot live two days without going to the supermarket I mean you ask why why you went there but I, because I was trying to go to the supermarket from like last Tuesday and I couldn't be able to do it so this was my last shot because you know there's some things missing in my house I mean you know everyone has their own problems anyway that's it for today hope you guys like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up comment down below how is everything going in your country uh, I mean we have got everything in stock because it's not like legal quarantine for like months or weeks so it's everything as in stock you can find anything you want so yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video bye bye bugün daha önce hiç yapmadığım bir şey yapacağım ve size bir hikaye anlatacağım bu hikaye benim küçükken dinlemekten en çok zevk aldığım masal kasetinden